Hey there. Hi, Dana. Hello. How's it going? I think it's going good. <laughs> Our new mayor is a bike advocate. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Great to hear. How, how are you doing after the election? Are you recovered? I'm recovering. Okay. I'm cleaning my house. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, cool. Well, I know Greg is still going to join us, but we were just on a call, and I think this will probably be a pretty brief check-in. Um, since we have, we do have a, a CAC meeting the, the week before, that's going to be our last CAC meeting. And I think that's when I will um, go back over in detail the build plan. Um, but I guess just to give you guys updates, we have about 40 people total that have signed up for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, um, although I don't think that we'll be meeting Saturday. Um, so that's good. I think that means that, you know, with this more time, a couple more weeks, we should probably get even more people. Um, oddly, we're super, we're, we're lowest on Thursday. So I think if, if anyone talks to you guys and, you know, is wondering like where they might be most useful, I would say Thursday. I don't know why we only have eight people signed up total like throughout the day um and i think that's a day that will be pretty heavy on planting planters so um like barrier to help barrier to entry should be pretty low on that day so um hopefully we can get some more people and i can add that to our to my correspondence as well but yeah on tuesday we have 26 people which is great that's like, to put it in context, like that for us is a huge number of volunteers for, for one day. So I don't think we should be concerned about that. Um, but what, what yeah. were you saying best day, Dan? Good morning to everybody. Um, well, so I was saying that on Thursday, we only have eight people signed up so far. Um, and Thursday, I think it's going to be pretty heavy on planting planters. So I was just saying, um, if people are reaching out and, and want to help, Mm -hmm. but maybe want to ask like what day would be best for them to help i would say let's get people more people for thursday because tuesday we have 26 people and wednesday we have 14 people i'll i'll, I'll convey this to kelly after the call at the mock okay. shop i don't know if his staff has signed up yet so i'll let him know okay yeah <clears throat> cool the green coalition they pushed out another note too right susan yeah i'll yeah. let them know if, if kathy is not on the call I'll let her know. She can communicate to the Green Coalition. Because it is true when you have a big week that people, if they have a focus, maybe that helps. And I'll mention that to uh, Juan Sanchez as well, because he uh, deals with the uh, high school groups from all the different high schools, the Green, I forget the name of their group, but they are uh, they wanted to help too. So I'll ask them if he can yeah. focus on that day. And, and Dana, you can switch yeah. me to Thursday, or I'll, I'll do that now. You know, it, well, let's see how it plays out. But if you yeah. have too many people, I can switch my days, you know. No, that's okay. I think, like, because having a lot of people on Tuesday is still great because that's going to be our big, um, that will be our big, probably, you know, painting day for the complex zones, of which there are quite a few of those. So, yeah, we'll just, like, give it another couple weeks to see how it's yeah. all like. Plus, plus mm -hmm. on that day, if you let people know you're still short Thursday, I bet you, you'll get volunteers from that same group. Yeah. I guess. Definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> so cool. That sounds good. Yeah, I think, um, so yeah, I don't know if, you know, I think it's been really helpful, obviously, to have people, you know, like you and Kathy and um, the people from the bike shop just like oh. using their own networks to push, push things out. Um, and yeah, Russell had sent us some suggestions of people to reach out to as well. Um, so hopefully in the next coming weeks, we will still get more people signing up. Um, 
If I may. Yeah. Um, a couple of things have come to mind. One of them is that people are probably a little concerned about COVID um, yeah. in this mix. And one of the things I'm going to do with the next email I send out to uh, my uh, a more local list is I'm going to recommend that people consider bringing their household so we can create household teams that can work together without having mm -hmm. exposure to new people. Yeah. Also, get people to, to bring in more you know either either roommates or family or whatever kind of household people have got so um. yeah that's a great idea because yeah i mean we're we're going to be keeping the volunteer groups low anyway you know like probably three to five people five people max um and that's honestly not that's like about what volunteer groups need to be in anyway and we'll be moving up and down the corridor and spread out but yeah i mean if there are couples or families or or whatever i guess like the more people from the same household per that per those small groups the better exactly. um so so many like different people aren't aren't interacting um but yeah we're going to be continuing to monitor what's going on um with covid and just you know if, if i may can i ask you a question yeah i just joined is there a place we're going to be uh, meeting up or uh um, do where we sign up, uh, sign in the vol um, volunteer, like where we check in. Yeah, so um, I I'll make sure to communicate this to all the volunteers leading up to uh, the days. I have everyone's emails from the sign up platform, but the volunteer check in is going to be right at the Meadows Preserve Trailhead, the Meadows Preserve Trailhead. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a tent there um, and just a table where. You guys will sign your waivers. I'm actually considering sending the waivers out ahead of time if, if people want to just like sign them and send them back to me so that we avoid any sort of like gathering or clustering around the tent. Um, but yeah, so basically when you arrive, if you're not arriving like first thing in the morning, when you arrive, just go to the tent and there will be people definitely around the tent. And if not, I'll give everyone my phone number um, so that people can like text me when they arrive and I can come meet them and give them you know, an assignment and equipment and stuff. Uh, another update, I spoke with yeah. uh, Kelly and Tim yesterday, okay. uh, and they've got at least uh, four businesses interested in doing what they're doing, which oh, is awesome. to alter their employees. And I think that's another, uh, another way to, you know, uh, to invite people uh, to, to, to mitigate the concerns about COVID is to consider bringing, you know, workplace work groups too. Mm -hmm. so, you know, if our volunteers, yeah. you know, have both a, a home base and, and a uh, work base, then they could, they could get a couple of teams together and that would really be a nice way to flesh out the numbers. Right. Yeah, that's a, a good idea. I'm glad to hear that businesses are more small businesses are considering getting on board with volunteering and stuff. Yeah, you had three or four yesterday, including Topa Topa uh, restaurant, and uh, I can't remember the other ones, but that, that was pleased. I was pleased to see that, and I'll mention both of those concepts when I send Ooh. out. I, I, but I haven't heard about the bicycle teams yet. Kelly didn't mention that yesterday. I forgot to ask him. So mm. ho hopefully, some of those bicycle groups will, you know, okay. show up on us too. Yeah, even if the bicycle groups, like, it would, what would be really great, too, is if the bike groups can ride the project as soon as it's done, and we can um, get photos of them doing that. That would be good, too. I don't know, though. A lot of cyclist groups like to just ride in the street, so it'll be interesting to see how they <laughs> use the bike lane. Well, they better use the bike lane after all this effort. They don't use it. Yeah, they better use it. We're going to have a police stop. We're going to mandate they use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it depends on how big the group is. Open, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Dave, what would be the secondary date? I was just going to notify the, the school group. And uh, what would be, uh, I mean, besides Thursday, what do you think is the second lowest date? Um, the second lowest is Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Um, We're hoping to get most of it done that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll see. Hopefully wrapping up Friday. Hopefully Saturday is not even needed, right? 
Yeah, hopefully Saturday is not needed. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, just like knock on wood, but I don't know if it for some reason rains a lot or something like that. It's always good to just be, you know, anticipating that we might need an extra day. But if everything goes to plan, yeah, it's, it's always good to kind of like front load. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if we can get the most of those three days, um, we'll be in good shape. Okay, I'll put you. Um, Thanks. <clears throat> yeah. Um, cool. Well, yeah. Does anyone have any other questions? I guess, like, you know, if you if you need anything, like Russell, if you um, have anyone else that you think that we can reach out to, that would be greatly appreciated as well. But I think now it's just seeing how many more volunteers we have and then coming on December 2nd, the final CAC meeting with- Yeah, uh, I'm wondering if, if we're gonna have access to color flyers in, in any way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, I think it's, Sorry. I think that would be to Greg probably. An update on that too. Uh, we are gonna distribute flyers to all the businesses at Front Maricopa and offer them an 11 by 17 color that they could put up in their window if interested. So if anybody knows business owners or so on that they can talk to, it might be helpful to get that extra outreach. Uh, so we'll do that. And we have sandwich boards, I guess you call them, you know, kind of those, uh, you know, two foot wide by three foot tall A-frame boards. We're going to put out uh, three or four of those on probably the edge of the walkway down by the trolley stop at the Vons at the, over near the, hospital over near the uh, high school and maybe out in front of Ben Franklin too. We'll do those various locations, probably off the sidewalk. We might talk to business owners and see if they're open for us to put them near their entry to a place like Ben Franklin and Bonds, if they're open to that. So mm -hmm. that'll all be happening next week, as well as the banner, right, that hangs off of the, the light pole. Yeah, yeah I think, oh, go ahead. Yeah, Cynthia at uh, Ben Franklin is is a, a buddy, and if she has any resistance, um, tell her that uh, that, that Russell uh, encouraged her to do it. Uh, I, I take all the blame for her having found her husband, so I literally put her husband, uh, her in her husband's arms. So. Uh, <laughs> So maybe we shouldn't mention it, but we should just there. <laughs> okay, thanks. We'll, uh, are you, nice to put it out there, though. Greg, are you personally going to these businesses, or what? how how is this being done? No, it'll be, uh, Fred is my part-time guy that does inspections, and he's an all-around fellow. He does uh, tech and inspections and drawings and stuff like that. So he's uh, he knows the project okay, so he'll... He'll go up and, and uh, you know, request that uh, they can maybe be put up front if they want color or laminated or something like that, you know. And uh, I don't know, be interesting. I think, you know, even, even if some people are unsure or might be have preconceptions, uh -huh. it seems like they're better to put out the information and help yeah. people go find yeah. it. So uh, <laughs> almost like some of the resistance that was initially came up on the demonstration, well, the whole point was to show how well it works. So why yeah. would you be opposed to that? But, uh, so you never quite know. Yeah. You're aware of the, of the woman who spoke at the last council meeting from the church, the church on, on Creek, on church road. I reached yeah. out to the church after that meeting. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. I reached yeah. out to the, uh, the church and, uh, offered, uh, to present, present to them to, so they get a full informational item. I, I knew we almost were going to do as part of this project, use their parking lot because they kind of rent out the room and all that back before COVID and all that. So I met one of the other trustees on the board. So anyways, he was going to talk to the board and see if they're and and the parish and see if they were interested in the presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. And, and Greg, by all means, get some color stuff to the coffee connection that's just around the corner on El Roblar. Um, both handout flyers and a, and a poster. John there is the owner, and he's, uh, you know, he, he's real supportive of bicycles and, and, and is concerned about the project and would like to see it done well. So he'd be a good guy to get in touch with. 
You know, it's a good point that it's not really just Maricopa. It's yeah. kind of in the city, it separates Maricopa, but when you hit the Y, there's kind of a stretch of not much, but uh, Boku certainly rents bikes and would be interested, and uh, maybe even, uh, what's the place called, the, the summer camp, and a uh, few places there that would be somewhat nearby, but we might reach towards uh, we'll definitely do coffee connections, thanks, and maybe even a touch more. Like uh, the Ace Hardware certainly gets a lot of business. Mm, yeah. And yeah. Renee's been a big supporter. He might even take a, a sandwich board out front there, too. Where was that? Uh, uh, Reno from Boku would probably. Right. Take oh, yeah. He's a huge. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, sounds like a plan. Um, Oh, Diana. Hmm. Okay, Diana said she tried to join and she couldn't. Um, okay, well, yeah, that's really all I have. Um, I think we just, you know, keep spreading the word. And um, if anything comes up in the meantime, just feel free to email me. And we, I will make sure to make everybody aware of the last meeting so that as many volunteers as possible can make it. I know uh, the time is is hard for people who are working but yeah that'll be kind of our final check-in before the week that'd be great if we could get the volunteers who can make it to the last meeting i didn't promote this because i didn't know how important it would be or anything you know for people mm -hmm. to drop everything they're doing but if the next meeting is like an orientation i'll certainly promote it more and we can get other the green coalition you know do you want us do you do you and do you want that for the next for the last meeting to promote yeah, I think it and really get as many it? as the yeah i mean i think that that would be great like helping promote the last cac is good because it's sort of the last opportunity to ask questions like even if you haven't signed up to volunteer and then i will definitely be sending emails like to our volunteers that we have so far, reminding them. I can always, I will also share the presentation and obviously the video recording and stuff will be on the webpage too. So um, yeah, it's not really anything that volunteers are gonna have to like come to the CAC and then memorize and, you know, like, and be prepared for the week. It's just like to let people know what to expect. Um, but as long as people know to meet us at the Meadows Preserve Trailhead, you know, then we can tell them what to do <laughs> when they get there. I'll, I'll, double, I'll double check that this is, or, or are you and Greg checking that this is in the press release to meet at the Meadows? I'm not sure. I mean, that press release came up, and I'm not really sure about the press release. If that was uh, pushed out, I'll check uh, and see with the city manager where the, whether or not... Uh, you know, because right now we've got a, a lot of uh, outreach going on, and uh, so, but I'll, I'll consider that, I guess, what are we on Wednesday, uh, whether we should do something in the newspaper or something to try to promote it. Yeah, well, I can put in a, he was I can put in a press release. I yeah, I never heard about a press release. I didn't know. I'm going to, after the meeting, I'm going to drop him a note, because I have the old press release that was great. It was a fabulous press release. The one that was going to be for November 7, you know, the original date. He wrote a, a beautiful press release. So I'll, I'll, I'll ask him if he's, he can update. And anyway, I'll, do, I'll say something too. And who wrote that press release you're talking about? What? I was just looking for the press release. Was that, I was trying to remember who wrote it or whatever happened with uh, James, that. James did, I think. Okay. I don't know how to look for stuff during the meeting. I might lose the meeting. <laughs> right. I think I think it was really the flyer is what was being talked about. So anyways, I'll, I'll check into that. Yep. Mm -hmm. does, does anyone know if been, people have been posting on the community boards? I have. Not the forum, but the, all the other ones. Okay. I kind yeah, of avoid like, the forum because it's such a contentious, but I will. I can. Like at Farmer and the Cook or at Rainbow Bridge. Well, Sylvia, so does because we could do that. And so you just said, yeah, Rainbow Bridge, Farmer Cook. Is there any other ones you can think of off the cuff? 
uh, there's the, I know there's a community board in the plaza. Right. All the floors. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I might have misunderstood your question. I guess, like, yeah, I <laughs> for instance, Ace Hardware has one, Ace Hardware. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's one over at Vons. I don't think so, right? Vons or, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't remember ever seeing one there. So, yeah. I, I know I've posted in those kind of spots before. Or West, Westridge has one, don't they? Westridge as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll make sure we post those as well. I know some of those you got to get permission, some we posted. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that ha happened online is Laura Ward just uh, let us know that she's posting the letter that Tim put out onto the OB News um, uh, media site. So that, that would have just happened yesterday or today. So um, that should be a good one. Uh, right. who, put, who did you say put that out? Uh, Tim put out the original letter and Laura picked up on it and she's posting it on oh, the community Tim board. Roney? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, I asked him to do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Okay. And, um, the other thing is, you know, with regards to the press release, I, I would encourage us to do that. And one of the targets for that press release would not just be volunteers, but rather an educational opportunity ahead yeah. of the start of the demonstration, because we are going to be closing parts of the road. And, you know, if we can make sure that they understand that it's in an effort to do something positive, like what we're trying to do, that might help, uh, you know, garner increased support as opposed to I don't know what are they what are they doing to us now? Sort yeah. Of thing, you know? yeah, I agree. I'm gonna work on that. I'll, I'll connect with I'll talk to James to see what he has in mind. And keep I'll copy it, uh, anything I do, Greg, I'll copy you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep keep mind as far as the traffic impacts. We there should be no delay in traffic. I mean, we'll have one lane closed down, right? So one lane will remain remain essentially immediately. Uh, so they'll have a truck that you know, goes through in places cones that isolate off that second lane or the right lane on each uh, side of the road. And, uh, but that, the one primary lane that will remain to the demonstration essentially won't have a shutdown. We might have some very minor thing if we have something to apply very close to that lane just for quick safety issue. But generally we'll be all operating behind these closed off lane for safety, well away from that lane uh, during all, all the work. That would be some good content for a press release, uh, as well as, you know, uh, actively encouraging people about the fact that we're trying to create safety for bicycles and pedestrians. I, I think both of those in the press release would really help garner community support. You're saying, Russell, as far as mentioning that we're not shutting the road down or any such thing. Yeah, you know, clarify what's going on, uh, mm -hmm. help them understand why we're doing it, help them understand what the goal is and how important we consider active transportation and safety for pedestrians and bicyclists. You know, a press release, this is a great opportunity to get that kind of press release out and garner, garner some stronger community support. That's good. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I would imagine that press releases from the city get a lot of views. It would be, it's, I guess, like more efficient than, you know, trying to distribute flyers and, and that sort of thing, if the city's whatever platform, you know, if people's eyes are already keeping track of city press releases, it might be more efficient, more cost efficient too, less printing of flyers. Although we do have to do, you know, we do have to do um, the business notifications. Those are extremely important, but as far as other flyering, you know, a press release could just help. Yeah, over the years when we were doing flyers for events for the uh, Green Coalition, what uh, Deborah and her and the crew found is that there was only half a dozen places where we had effective response from flyers, and you've named most of them. Um, and in this situation, places like the Mob Shot, if they had fly, you know, nice color flyers they could hand out to their customers, which is a very targeted group. You know the bicycle shops and and John over at the Coffee Connection and some of those kinds of places that are are catering to to bicyclists. You know, just having a, a fistful of color flyers that they can hand out 
um, and let you know when they need more. You know, yeah. that's about it. The, the business no notification would be great. Getting them in, in the flyers up and down Maricopa, I think, is worthwhile in this situation because of the disruption that people are going to see right away. Yeah. But minor disruption, albeit, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen on Monday morning. Just for a picture in a bit would be that uh, traffic control app will be super early. I mean, uh, they'll have that lane shut down. I think, they aren't they talking by 7 a.m. They're going to have that lane shut down. Yeah, potentially even earlier. Yeah, yeah so I don't even think Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, we'll have the lane shut well, down, we'll, and that's essentially what it'll be for a long time, for months and months, and then uh, we'll do the work behind, but it should be no impact to the traffic at all from that moment onward. And then uh, somewhat, I guess, the, the I guess you call looky-loo concept when people come in and see the new layout, of course, they're going to be somewhat more cautious till they get accustomed to it, right, for a while. And, and when the work is going on, for sure, for that week, and then you get accustomed to it for a, a month, and then it kind of settles in. and Hopefully at that point you realize uh, it'll be hard to imagine some significant impact from it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Well, um, sounds good, guys. We'll just be in touch then in the next couple of weeks. And we'll talk again on the 2nd, December 2nd. Is that the next meeting, December 2nd? So that'll be on the Wednesday prior to the start. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We've, uh, so you'll send flyers out, uh, I guess, Russell, you were interested in distributing a few as well. And uh, so we have that flyer set with the date and all that. Yeah, let me know when you got them. I can, I can focus more along Ojai Avenue. And uh, if you've got Maricopa covered, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll shoot for more like uh, close to the Y, Maricopa, and a touch over by like saying copy connection, ACE, stuff like that. Sounds great. Yeah, just give me an email when they're available. Thanks. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. We'll Thank talk to you soon. Thank you, Greg. Thank, Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>